ever think you'd become a celebrity chef? You know, when I started cooking, there was no such thing. Yeah. So there was, uh, and there was very few chefs that owned their own restaurants. It was mainly owned by businessmen or the maitre d's and the managers, um, and and usually European guys because they, you know, I guess they understood owning from. Yeah, I don't know why, but then the chefs started getting more, more uh, a little smarter, a little more educated. They started getting more recognition, means they made more money, and we really were running the show. I don't want to say always because it's, it takes teamwork, but we really kind of stole a lot of thunder, and the opportunities came to us because we learned the business end, right. and, and we were the brands. Um, but you still need a good, this, you know, and it goes back and forth. Without good service and a good front guy, you, it doesn't matter how good the food is. So you really have to have teamwork. And uh, um, but no, I could never imagine. I, I just wanted to be a good chef. I yeah. set out my goals to be. Um, to go to cooking school and become a good chef. And you know what, with that, with that came lots of opportunities and the interest in food by the American public and, and just, you know, we just caught this big wave. And, uh, and we were, I was creative and I took chances and I, you know, it's a lot of work. It didn't come easy. That's, yeah. But you know, because it's a fun job, it seems like it's easier than it is because right. it's fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you gotta have fun. It's, it's too hard not to. You know? And it's kind of based around, it's hospitality. Yeah. You know, there's, there's food, there's giving, there's drinking, there's this, there's that, there's events, people are celebrating with you, so, you know, that's the, uh, that energy has to be there.